Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Subnautica. So we are picking up where we left off last time. It's episode number 36, I think. We made it all the way down to the alien containment facility through trials and hardships, through uh, uncountable terrors, and fireballs getting spat at us. Why am I swimming? Did we just figure... Wow, did I just find a bug in the game? I This is supposed to be air. Okay, I sort of went part way through the gate, but not all the way, and now we're swimming. Okay, maybe if I go all the way and then out? Okay, very good. Yeah, let's not start with bugging out the game. We've made it to the alien containment facility, which is uh, this place, the primary containment facility. And all of this information and stuff, this is where the Sea Emperor is being held, and I'm kind of speculating that we're going to be able to hook up at least one more teleporter now that we made it all the way down here. Before we head inside, and I'm super excited to do that, and to see what all the stuff it has is, I want to leave a beacon. Maybe just like right here. Burp, blop. Hey, bacon. Okay, and we want to rename it without getting spat at by uh, the leafy sea dragon or whatever it is. Uh, we're going to call you the alien... Very, very... um Alien containment... Facil if it lets me... No. Oh, we ran out of letters. A okay, fine. Uh, we'll just shorten it to alien containment. I guess that uh, is good enough. Where is our friend? Ma the one that lives down here must uh, travel farther around because I haven't seen him since coming inside this door. The big sea dragon guy. We're about to meet its big sister. Okay. Alien containment. Let's change the color. Then we'll head inside and see what this place has to offer. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be so cool. Uh, at least I hope so. Alien containment. Where are you at? Alien containment. Did I pass it? Maybe it's... Is it close to the top? I'm not sure exactly what the order is here. The rib cage, lava, gloopy de gloop. Alien power facility. It's not that one. Hey, here we go. Alien containment. Red. There we go. Okay. Uh, Sebastian, stay there for a second. We will fetch you if we need you. I'm pretty sure he would fit through that doorway, but I'm not sure. We've got a big uh, kind of... Van oh! Okay. Apparently this is just like a shopping center in that it has... It's got a uh, motion sensor door. <laughs> like a grocery store. There's one of these little robot crabs. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You want to be our You want to be our friend? Want to be our friend here on this planet? Translating local alien broadcast. Yeah. Warning. Vaccine development program terminated. Uh-huh. Fetching project terminated. Huh. Life specimens terminated. Really? Evacuate immediately. It's a lot of stuff in cages. There's more ion stuffs. Ooh. Whoa. Ion cube fabricator. Oh. Okay, we can get more. Okay, scanning. Uh, ion cube fabricator. This device appears to be the origin of the raw mineral that forms the base of the ion cubes. Almost limitless supports a uh, source of energy. Man, this place is huge. Maybe we should bring Sebastian, like, up into here, into the middle. I guess we can go fetch him later. There is definitely a door here. We're going to have to prioritize which of our little tablets we use, because I only have so many. And our primary objective, really, is to... What what I just mouse over that? There's all kinds of stuff in cages to scan. Our primary objective is to find a gateway to connect to get back to the surface to use as a shortcut to come back here. Here is a door right here. Okay, I've only got one more of those tablets, the H ones. I only brought two of those. We used one to get in. All right, so we're going to look around, I guess. And take this one step at a time. This place may be so big we don't go through all of it right away. I definitely want to investigate all of these things. Let's just sort of take a little bit of a tour. Alright, what's over here? More of these little craps. I'm assuming these guys are peaceful because they haven't messed with us yet. But that could change at any moment. Hi, fellas. Okay, nothing there. Oh, very interesting. Aha! Okay, found one. And it has a pedestal for our ion cube. 
Insert Ion Cube. How many of those do I have? I've got five, and I've got Sebastian, so we can definitely get more of those. Uh, but before we even do that, tell you what, now that I've found that there is one of those little gates, and that it is, um, we don't have to use any of our other tablets to access it, uh, we can at least um, look around a bit more. I want to scan some of these guys. Let's do that next. Okay, what are you? Well, this looks cool. Can I, this is like Captain America's shield, but an alien one. Uh, holographic projector. Contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. C communications relay. Okay, cool. What is this? Alien statue. Uh-huh. Uh, unpowered, it served a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. Resembles vines spiraling upwards. All right, very cool. Super cool. There's all kinds of tunnels. Man, there's so much stuff to do here. So many activities. It's a yin-yang that looks like a couple of creatures, and one of them looks kind of burnt. Strange carving. Okay. Alien carving. Hundreds of thousands of years old, made from an unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. Yeah, it does a striking resemblance to the yin-yang. Yang. Uh-huh. Aliens visited Earth prior to... Wait, what? Aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century BC and influenced the, the development of ancient Chinese philosophy. What? Uh, okay. Universal concept. Okay, all right. That's interesting, I guess. Wasn't expecting that for sure. Ancient blade. Looks a bit like a katana. Or no, more like a dao. Ancient Earth Blade. It is one. Uh, an ancient Earth Blade dating back to the 13th century. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. This evidence suggests the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in the surreptitious study of less developed species. What do you know? Okay. Uh, there's definitely still more to click on. And we can go up there and get a data download. Man, there's so much stuff to look over. Hey, calm down. That is uh, not the scanner. Alien technology. All right. Translation device. Uh, stores linguistic data from a thousand different languages. The term CHBC Live appears many times in the device's data. Its import is unclear. All right. Empty case. All right. Nanobots. Some form of advanced nanobots inside the seemingly empty case. It would be unwise to release them. Okay, let's not do that then. Unusual box. What do we got here? Organic matter particulator. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope. Likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it. Ah. Maybe we won't open that one either. Crescent artifact. Uh, tracking implant. Okay. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. It was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to the planet. Uh, life, uh, Leviathan. It is rather dark in here. Maybe the uh, the aliens could see in a slightly different range of um, light, like a different uh, electromagnetic magnetic range from our visible spectrum. Alien building block. This rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts, and there's some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the uh, self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. Uh-huh. Okay. So we've got all kinds of doors here. I don't even remember which one it was that I looked in. It might have been this one. It kind of looked like that. Okay, let's uh oh, why do I why do I keep opening this? I want to open this. Maybe it's just um muscle memory from being underwater so much of the time, thinking I would swim faster by clicking that. Whoa. What was that? 
Is it gonna happen again? Yeah, I hear it. What's it doing? Oh, it's the lights on the entry. Oh. Okay, data terminal. Let's click on this. Enzyme 42, project data. Yeah, uh, according to translated data logs, an indigenous leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance, and which inhibited the symptoms of the Kara bacterial infection in other indigenous organisms. Mm-hmm. I wonder if all those vents we found all over the planet are connected to the uh, sea emperor. Because it is the source of the enzymes? Could be. Okay, more stuff locked away in cages. This looks empty. What do we got here? Woo. I have not seen anything that looks like that, I don't think. Well, this is like a tiny version of a sea emperor. That's the closest thing. Preserved fetus. I guess that's maybe what that is. Sea emperor, it is. Okay, a child of the adult specimen con contained within the facility. It's very small. The aliens were attempting to formulate a cure. Uh, without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Okay, so they couldn't get it to work. Which is fantastic, because they seem way more advanced than the humans in this world. Okay, where do I go from here? There's another cage. That's an egg. Preserved egg casing. Sea Emperor. Thick layers of carbon composite. Extensive gestation period. Uh, the Leviathan species may give birth just once per century. So I guess getting a, um, a young one would be kind of hard then, huh? For your cure. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researcher to cut open this egg and remove the fetus. Oh, and then you screwed yourself. I see what happened. Okay, so you were in a rush and you screwed it up because you only had the one egg. Or something like that. Okay, so we came from there. I, can we go maybe over in this direction? Oh, I think it links around. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. All right, this is very cool. Uh, let's keep walking around and look at stuff, I guess. Okay, so that is the upper area. We've got that door. Hey, all right, calm down there, entries. We've got that door we can go through. Let's go get um, Sebastian and walk him up here, because we are definitely going to try to take a portal out of here. And we're taking him with us. If I can avoid it, I would like to not swim through that section again, trying to avoid well, the uh, the sea dragons. That would be great. And I am a bit hungry and thirsty, so we can't... I guess I do have a lot of food and water. But our time here is... Unless we find some kind of food and water source, we will eventually have to leave. Uh, okay, just... Uh, all, all right, already, all right. Why can't I move? I'm kind of stuck. All right, sitting right there. Don't move. Uh, let's have some food and water. Yeah, I got plenty. Okay, um, well, we did that one. Maybe we just go clockwise? Clockwise around the circle? And investigate some of these hallways? See what they, uh, see what they have to offer? So we're just gonna start at one end and go around. I wonder if each of these have their own little, um, teleportation portal thing. That might be the case. Wow. Okay, so this is like some kind of transportation hub. I guess we'll link it up. Okay. There you go. Uh, all right. Before we jump into that one, let's just check the other hallways. If every single one has a, um, a portal, that's really interesting. So I'm just going to run from room to room and see what they all have. And since there is that ion cube supply right there. Okay, this is different. Oh, there's a slide. Oh, why don't I get that for my base? 
Okay, this is not this is not the same thing repeated. Oh, I really want this slide. Ooh, look at this. We have some plants. They've got an aquarium. Okay, uh, wow. <laughs> what is that right there? A bunch of pipes. Great. Outflow. I bet this does go to those vents. Enzyme host peepers. Oh, I knew about the peepers. The outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no symptoms of infection. Stomach cavities are empty. Yeah, and they're, all those vents are connected to here, and that's, yeah. So, uh, my little guess about the peepers being the delivery device was kind of right, I think. Is that a map? Inflow pipe. Okay, so water comes in, water goes out. Can't explain that. Peepers entering the containment facility. Fists show no signs of distress. All right. Whoa. Oh man, this is so cool. I want this for my base. Can we, can I make, let's see, do I have a recipe? No, I do not have a recipe for that now. Damn it. I scanned it, why, why can't I make it? You gotta learn how to make the uh, alien glass first or something. Okay, anything in these cages? Doesn't look like it. Can we go down further? There's this thing right here. Ventilation control. Integrating new PDA data. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. Temperature is lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility. And then oxygen deprived water is being flooded from the system to recycle back to the, uh, yeah, okay. Do I want to jump down there? I bet we can get down there from a different path. Seems, that seems to be the case. Okay, so let's just keep walking around. And if I can't find a way down there late, oh no, right here. I was going to say later on we'll jump. But it seems like we're fine. All right. More fish tank. It's very dark. I'm thinking the aliens definitely see in a different spectrum of light. That looks like a map. It's repeated. Ooh, is there is there damage? Or, no, that's just a detail. Okay, so maybe not damaged. Still functioning. Just their, uh, their solution didn't work. It was like a temporary stopgap or something. And that's where it enters or leaves the, uh, the room or whatever. There's a bunch of peepers floating around. And I don't see anything else to scan here. Okay, well, that's cool. I guess we go back up. Let's keep looking around. We've found at least one portal, so we probably have a way out of here. And we have an unlimited ion cube supply. Okay, now to get back up, we go this way. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to brighten this in editing because this is very dark. Okay, so we are going clockwise. Next door, please. I bet that one, that door where we need the... Uh, this tablet, I bet um, that's where the Sea Emperor is. That's my hunch. Okay. Another gate. All right, let's go ahead and power it up, I guess. There you go. Yeah, have a cube. There we go. Okay, so we can uh, check all those out later. Kind of want to finish surveying the facility before we do too much else. All right, running around this way. Anything here? It's so dark. We get a few spotlights in here. Can I, can I build in here? Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! I don't have my knife out. Quit chasing me. What was that about? Oh, you want some of this? Where did he go? Oh yeah, he don't want any of this. Okay, let me. Put the knife out. Um, I'm wondering if we can build any. Probably not, right? Yeah, maybe not. Okay, let me get the uh, repair gun out. What was I doing? I was going around and then I got attacked. 
I think we did three. I started there. That was a portal. This is the uh, filtration system. This one was the next portal. You want some of this? You want some of this? A little crazy crap? Alright, we'll come back to that. <laughs> Let's keep looking around. So I'm sort of guessing there's going to be... Two more portals and uh, one other room of interest, if it's kind of symmetrical. So let's just run up here real quick and um, drop an ion cube in the portal. Yeah, okay. Do I have enough, by the way? Yeah, I do. Okay. Here we go. All right, sweet. All right, so there's that one lit up. Let's run around... Don't you slice at me, little crap. We were supposed to be friends. Okay, so I'm going to go with that assumption. I'm going to skip to the last one, power it up, then we can go to that room, then we can go through the room with the, um, that requires the little tablet. And I'm guessing the Sea Emperor is going to be in there. Maybe not. Okay, here's your cube. So we've got four portals. We've got a filtration system. We've got a door that we need to use the H tablet. And then we got one other room to look in. Right here. Okay, what do we got? This room appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg <gasps> specimens Ow. in different states of development. All right. Oh. Uh-huh, I recognize some of these. Can I scan them? I have not seen this one. I'm not sure about that one. This one, yes. This is the crash fish, I think. That is the, um... The, uh, electricity eel thing. The amp... Amp eel? That is the, uh, the ghost ray or whatever. That is a, um, a uh, gasopod. That one up there, I can't really see. Yeah, I definitely recognize some of them. That is a uh, sea dragon. Well, can we break the cages now? I want to break them and get some of these eggs. Sea Emperor Leviathan Research Data. Whoa. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upwards to accommodate this species. Uh-huh. It feeds on microorganisms. It filters from the water. It manufactures enzyme 42 in its stomach. And expels that into the water. 1600 years old. I see. Okay. I have not found an egg that looks like that. Wow, there's so many eggs in here. Yeah, most of these I've never seen before. That one's a repeat. Look at this one. That's got to be the Sea Emperor, right? Yeah, I think it is. We saw one that was partially hatched open. It looked kind of like that. Uh, we've seen that one before. And that one, I think. Uh, that's a stalker up there. Ampial. Some of these I've seen, some not. That's a sea dragon. This is so cool. But I can't take any of them. Okay, what else we got? Yeah, some of these I remember. I think this is a lava lizard right there. That's a uh, gasopod. Not sure about that one. That one up there looks pretty big and different. Ooh, what is that thing up there? Okay, anyway, uh, I can't take any of these, unfortunately. So I guess the last thing to do is to go take our tablet. I brought too many tablets, but you never know, right? I did, just tried to come prepared. Brought a bunch of all the tablets. Only need a couple of them, seems like. Let's go through the door and see what we find. I think we're going to talk to a big fish. That's my guess. Here we go.
Yep. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Big fish tank, I'm guessing. The uh, frame rate's very low. I'm getting like 20... Well, as this area loaded in, I got 20. Now let's jump back up. All right. Kind of reminds me of like a Halo level or something. That's water? You want me to jump in that water? Are you crazy? <laughs> I don't want to jump in that water. Okay, let's walk around the edge and see if we can get a bit closer to the water and just like dunk our nose in or something without just jumping in off of that ledge. That sounds... That sounds like suicide. I didn't get this far by being reckless. I mean, I'm occasionally reckless, but usually I have a... I have escape route. Always have an escape route. Can I get up there? Uh, no, I mean, it's shining green, so it looked like there was, uh, something I could scan or whatever, but it looks like no. Whew. If I jump in this, am I gonna be able to get out? How do I get out? I guess I do have a, uh... A sea do thing. Alright, well, I guess there's no way to find out without jumping in. Is there... I don't see any kind of ramp to get out. Oh my gosh, why is the water so... It must be full of that enzyme. Oh my god. Okay. This cage is gigantic. It looks like they just sort of walled off one of the caverns. I want to find a way out before I do anything else. How do I get out? Oh, I can just jump out. Oh, all right. I didn't realize I could do that so easily. I thought I might be able to do it with a sea glide, but, um... I don't know. It's best to, like I said, have an escape. Oh! Whoa! Hi! Oh my god! Please be friendly! Are you here to play? Whoa. Others came here once. They built walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. Yeah. But instead, we have you. Yeah. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Whoa. Okay, Ox oxygen, a little bit of oxygen. What does that mean? Uh, am I supposed to ch chase you? Are we playing chase now? Am I it? You ran away. Oh, there's all kinds of animals down here. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Yeah. Well, yeah, I wonder what the reason is. What could it be? Couldn't be the giant sea emperor hanging around, is it? Whoa. Hi. Man, you're super huge. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Yeah. Oh. Is this another portal? Okay, so now we have five. How many cubes I got left? I might have to go get... Yeah, okay, so I'm out. There is that uh, endless supply, of course. Oh, no, there's one right here. Give me that. Okay, so now we have five portals to go see where they go. I've only found, I think, one portal that I don't know where... It, that, uh, you know, that's unpowered in the world. So that means there's four other ones I never found. At a minimum. That's very interesting. Dude, we gotta build a base here! All the portals? 14,000 leagues under the sea. All the portals here, think about it. We can get, like, from A to B. We can just, we have access to the entire world. Scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Yeah. Oh, sea crowns. 
Okay. What's around here? Does this just keep going? Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we should life in this area is growing outside its normal conditions. Yeah. All life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. Okay. Uh, maybe we should go try to talk to the sea emperor a bit before we get too distracted looking around. How do I get out of here? Here we go. Can I scan you? Oh, you're just like giving off the the good juice. Maybe you're too far away. Oh, but I do need oxygen in a minute. I was kind of wondering if I would find another uh, gateway thing. Let's swim over here. What is that right there? It's like a... Oh, hi. Uh, okay, let's look at this. We'll go talk to... Hello. Oh my gosh, you're so huge. Okay. Gonna need oxygen. I wanna be some so hypnotized that I forgot to uh I forget to go get oxygen. Yeah, here's another another uh, little airlock. Oh, is that the one I found? That one's powered now. Yeah, that's the one I found. Okay. Alright, let's jump in here and get some oxygen. This is so cool. Okay, uh got some oxygen. Pretty sweet. All right, let's keep swimming around. I want to check out the other side of this big tank, and then we'll try to talk to our friend. There are some, like, little caves down here, which we could definitely explore. I wonder... I bet the game just blocks us from making a base here, right? Because that would just be too awesome, and I just can't see that the game letting us have that much fun. Right? There's no way the game is going to let us have that much... Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god, you're gigantic... Uh, there's no way the game's gonna let us have that much fun to put an outpost here, but that would be super cool. Right? With all these teleporters? Oh, it'd be perfect! Okay, I don't see... Okay, let's try to get close and maybe talk to our friend. Uh, maybe she's not much of a conversationalist. I don't see another teleporter thing. Oh, here's one. It's a bit buried, though. Yeah, that one looks a bit broken. All right, let's... Oh, man, you're just kind of everywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't have one. Yeah, I did. I picked up an extra one. All right, what are you powering? Ooh. Okay. My yard need to have Oh, God. To play outside this place. Whoa. We have been here so yeah? The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Okay. Uh, what's that mean? The cure? So I need to let the sea emperors out. Holy moly. You are really big. Why can't I be a giant fish? Why I gotta be a human? <laughs> uh, can I scan you? Whoa! Okay, you don't like that. Oh, you're opening the... I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Screenshot saved. Uh, I did scan the eggs. Shell, alien tubes, amniotic sac, fetal organism. Uh-huh. What is this? Incubator, insert hatching enzymes. Okay, I don't want to do that just yet. We still have a lot to explore. And I don't necessarily know the consequences of those actions. And, and I need oxygen, so let's go back. I'm trying to get close enough to scan the Sea Emperor, but I don't know. Maybe I can't. Let's go back to the tap. 
Let me get some oxygen and then try again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. All right. Oxygen, oxygen. I'm going to try to get... Let's see. Okay, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Come on, get some oxygen there. All right, I just got to, like, keep... Come on, dude, just keep your head above water. How hard is that? <laughs> okay. Let's try to scan this big fish. Although I have not seen the icon pop up. Oh my god, it's so big! Yeah, I don't think the icon's gonna pop up. This is amazing. Uh, okay. Well, I think we've probably... I've probably, um... This is probably gonna be a long episode. I'm kind of anticipating... We have not checked what's in any of the gates. And our fishy friend opened up another one, so now we've got six? We've got six. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to continue exploring that kind of stuff next time. That one is not lit up. Um, but I guess we need the hatching enzymes, and then they go through the portal out into the wide world? I don't know. I think that's going to do it for this episode, though. This has been very interesting. And, uh, yeah, we'll continue next episode. Leave your comments below, and uh, I'll see you next time. See you later, and bye-bye.